guys, it's Grace, and today I want to talk to you about my experience with spironolactone. Um, it's a very common oral drug that is prescribed for people to help fight against hormonal acne. So I'm going to jump straight into it and say that I was never someone that wanted to be prescribed anything from a dermatologist for my acne. I am an esthetician and I was so set on just using aesthetics specifically to clear my very acne prone skin. Um, but so much was just happening. There was something wrong inside me. I The aesthetic treatments were working amazing. I was getting chemical peels and hydrofacials. I still swear by all of those. I do those all the time. But it would help my current acne, but more acne was constantly coming up. Um, it was to the point where I was just so incredibly emotionally done that I really needed a different answer. So this is what my skin looked like right before I made my appointment to go to the dermatologist. What was especially weird was that my acne was spreading from just my chin to the rest of my face. So I made my appointment at the dermatologist and I went in a couple weeks later when they had an opening and they prescribed me 25 milligrams of spironolactone. Actually, it was 50 milligrams of spironolactone and a 0.25% tretinoin cream. Um, the tretinoin cream was just to help any of the blemishes and any of the scarring, whereas the spironolactone was actually supposed to help um, block antigen hormones, which is key factors to hormonal acne, aka the acne right along here, here, and here. Um, so I don't know what I was thinking, but when I got prescribed the pill, I thought that you know, a week later my skin was going to be perfectly clear, but they made it very aware that that was not going to be the case um, with spironolactone. They told me that it takes about three months to see real results. So this is what my skin looked like two months on spironolactone, and I'll tell you, I was so disappointed in this picture. I just remember feeling so incredibly hopeless. So after that night, I was in so much pain that I called my dermatologist. I still had another month to go before my three-month appointment, and they just prescribed me a clindamycin, which is an antibiotic that you put on the skin that's supposed to clear the acne, which it did not. Um, my skin was purging like crazy um, to the point where I was like, I, I don't know if I even want to stay on it anymore. So this is what my skin looked like the day I went in for my three-month appointment, and let me tell you, I was not happy at all. This hurt, and it was scarring back. And what was especially frustrating about the situation is, besides a couple pimples here and there, my cheeks have never been my problem area. Um, it's always been right in the middle of my chin, where it's funny because that part honestly was a lot clearer. It was just right around my mouth and my cheeks were just destroyed. They were bumpy and they were red and they were hurting so bad. I've never had this and I was pretty upset, I have to admit. Um, but I went to the dermatologist and they were like, well, you are qualified for Accutane. I was like, absolutely not. Um, I do not want to do that. Is there any other option? And so what they did was they boosted up my spironolactone to 100 milligrams a day and to a 0.5% tretinoin cream. So this is what my skin looked like when I started the 100 milligrams of spironolactone and 0.5% tretinoin. So this is what my skin looked like about two months after boosting both of my doses and my skin had calmed down but it was still bumpy and irritated and had quite a bit of scarring. What was great was I was finally starting to see some sort of clarity but it was like clarity from the pill like I feel like spironolactone totally purged me out which I did talk to my dermatologist about it and he's like yes that's what it's going to do and I was like okay well I did not know how much I had under the surface. Um, so that was pretty shocking, but one thing I can say is my skin never felt dry or irritated. The only thing that ever made it dry was the tretinoin cream, and I put enough products on my face where I never really had a problem with it. If my skin was getting too dry for my liking, I just skipped a night. Um, but around five months is when I was like, okay, and then around six months is when I really started seeing true clarity. So this is my skin with no makeup about six months after being on spironolactone, and although it was twice the amount of time as three months, still some amazing results. And then this is actually my skin from last night with no makeup about seven months on spironolactone. So I wanted to make this video pretty quick and to the point, but yes, I have been on spironolactone for about seven months now. I'm using 0.5% tretinoin and 100 milligrams a day, and I'm wearing... um 
some tinted SPF right now, but my skin is not perfect by any means, but it is so much clearer. Um, it's not as bumpy. It took months of purging to the point where, like I mentioned earlier in the video, I just wanted to quit the pill. I was completely upset. I was heartbroken. I was like, this is my last and only hope. My skin's never going to be clear. And seven months later, here I am. Um, I can say that during, you know, certain weeks of the month when my hormones go crazy, my skin is still fine. Um, it might get a little swollen and I guess a little bumpy, but I am not dealing with super deep cysts anymore, which is amazing. Um, and so, yeah, if anyone's ever questioning whether to start spironolactone, um, from my personal experience, it definitely gets worse before it gets better, but it's totally, totally worth it in the long run.